Oh, hi, I'm Tim Carter from AskTheBuilder.com, and guess what's inside this fancy cabinet? Look at that. It's a standby generator that creates electricity automatically in case of a power outage. And what you need to understand is that these standby generators, they're completely different than those portable gasoline generators that you often see at tool rental stores or at home centers. They don't create near as much electricity and they're not automatic. Propane powers this generator, but it can also run on natural gas. My generator creates 17,000 watts or 17 kilowatts of power. That's plenty to operate my boiler, microwave, refrigerator, well water pump, my septic system pump, miscellaneous lighting in the house, and some other circuits. Generators come in different sizes depending on what you want to operate when the power is interrupted. An automatic standby generator needs to be installed by a professional. These complex machines must be installed properly. Don't think for a minute if you're even a serious DIYer that you can do this job. They require a fancy computerized transfer switch that automatically turns on and off when the power to your home is lost and then restored. Inside this box is the transfer switch for my house. And these lights tell me right now that the power is coming from the utility company. That's a good thing. What happens in a power failure is that a switch actually flips inside the box that gets the electricity from the generator, but does not allow electricity to go back outside to the utility pole. That's a bad thing. If that happens, you could actually kill or injure a utility company worker because he's working on an energized line that he thinks is dead. Secondly, there's a computer inside this box that automatically turns the generator on once a week to exercise it. That's really important. You want the generator to be running on a somewhat regular basis so that when you need it, it's ready to go. The installer frequently has to use metal conduit to run the power cables from the generator to the main circuit panel in your home. Existing cables in your home have to be spliced into a new circuit panel that connects to the transfer switch. It's all very complicated, and believe me, it's not a job for a rookie. Last year, there was a horrible ice storm here in New Hampshire, and you know what happened? Many of my neighbors, they were out of power for days and days and days, but not me. I was out of power for about five or six seconds. And that's what I like about these standby generators. They turn on automatically. I didn't have to worry about a thing. I didn't have to fill any fuel up. I didn't have to do anything except sit inside by the fire reading a book. It's that simple. Standby generators, they're on guard 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. They're doing their job waiting for the power to go out so that you don't have to worry about a thing. You don't have to pull a cord to start a little portable generator. You don't have to plug in any extension cords. They're already connected to your electric system. Standby generators are fantastic. I'm Tim Carter for AskTheBuilder.com. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to askthebuilder.com.